Kenny got the Mandigo running again, version 2.2 or 2.0. He's over here getting it down. Last pass was 27 PSI in the new combo. So, it's pretty stout. That was like sweet. It's made 963 on 26, 27 pounds of boost. Whereas last time at 26, 27 pounds of boost, it made 892. So it didn't pick up as much as I wanted to, but I'm still being pretty gentle on it because I don't want to, I don't want to hurt it again, especially with the trick flow heads on it now. So we changed the camshaft of the new cam and it carries power like all 8,500 RPM where it used to only just kind of go, it would fall off at like 76 and kind of taper. It wouldn't nose over, but it wouldn't climb. Now it, it's pretty awesome. This new one, this new combo is going to be way better. More efficient. Stoked. So new cam doesn't sound rowdy, but it actually makes a ton of power and actually performs really well. Yeah, smaller. So, because the goal was like this converter, it's a ten and a half inch converter, and it's too, it's too big for this, um, too too big of a diameter for this small cubic inch. So it spools really slow. It's kind of shitty. Um, I could probably put a dome belt on it and make it work a little better. I just haven't yet. Obviously, we only ran the car for, ten, well, I think we made. 11 or 12 passes that day at the airport I think it was so I mean the car only ran and like raced for one day and it went 560s and 570s on the airport at 128 mile an hour and um, that's when I torched the head which those 340 plus degree intake air temps no winter cooler on E85 so 100% my fault I knew better well I didn't even care I, I knew it was gonna do it I just kept turning it up so we ended up running like it ran 570 on 28 or 29 pounds, and then I turned it up like 35, 36 pounds of boost when I finally torched the head. We didn't have good draggy data on it because I torched the head, so it only ran like four seconds. At five seconds, where it finally ate through the head, but it, it was going slower for four or five seconds straight. I'm gonna make a couple more runs, and so I'm gonna go home and eat because my head still has my head still pounding, pounding. So. Yeah, he's going to take him to Boynton on Labor Day and then Gladwin the following weekend. Maybe track day if there's enough time. It just depends. But definitely probably the coolest car he's put together in a while for himself. Yeah, that seems sweet. Does wheelies, bumpers it. Can't ask for much more. Hopefully Ben's got his white fox done. Maybe he'll have a little competition. Probably not. <laughs> 